Hi, I'm James. And I'm Laurent. And this is Beatty, our little Pomsky. And today we're going to talk about dog hunting. When you see a cute little ball of fur like a Pomsky puppy, you would never think of them as a predator. But looks can be deceiving, especially with Pomskys. Especially with Pomskys. And this little girl has turned out to be quite the huntress. And based on a survey we conducted with other Pomsky owners, she's not alone. So let's go! So first of all, this video is not about hunting dogs. If you're a hunter and you're looking for a good breed to go hunting with, we would never recommend a Pomsky. Starting with the fact that Pomskys are not particularly obedient. You ain't the boss of me, daddy. The American Kennel Club classifies dog breeds into seven categories. First of all, there are the hunting breeds, which are divided into three categories, sporting dogs, hounds, and terriers. Then there are the working dogs and herding dogs, which include all the shepherd breeds. And then there are the toy dogs and the non-sporting dogs, which is really a catch-all for all breeds that didn't fit in any of the other six categories. Huskies belong in the working dog group. They were bred to pull sleds in the snow. And Pomeranians belong in the toy dog group. They were bred to be a lap dog companion. So neither of the two breeds are hunting dogs. But just because they're not good breeds to go hunting with doesn't mean that they don't have the hunting instinct. So we conducted a survey with more than 100 Pomsky owners to find out how good Pomskys are at hunting. And the first question we asked was, does your Pomsky like to hunt? And the answer was yes. 59% of Pomsky owners say that dog like to hunt. With only 18% of owners saying their Pomsky did not like hunting. But just because Pomskys like to hunt doesn't mean that they're any good at it. So the second question we asked was, is your Pomsky a good hunter? And the answer yes was not as high for that question. 59% of Pomskys like to hunt, but only 42% are good at it. And there was very little difference between males and females on either of these two questions. Where there was a big difference was on age. Because Pomskys are a newer breed, there are always a lot of puppy owners whenever we do a survey, and they tend to skew the results. But if you compare dogs that are younger than one versus dogs that are older than ones, you get very different answers. 59% of Pomskys like to hunt, but that's because only 47% of puppies like to hunt. Among dogs that are older than one years old, that number jumps to 69%. We haven't really observed this with BD. She was interested in hunting the minute we got her. The very first day we got her as a puppy, she dug in our backyard and managed to unearth an earthworm. And she ate it <laughs> before we even had time to realize what was going on. Oh, that's gross. And just like their interest in hunting increases over time, their technique also improves as they grow up. Overall, 42% of Pomskys are good hunters, but that's because only 31% of puppies are good at it. But if you only look at Pomskys that are older than one years old, that number jumps to 52%. And we certainly observe this with BD. She's always been pretty good at chasing squirrels and bunnies, but her ability to spot them is a hundred times better now than when she was a puppy. When she was a puppy, we had to spot bunnies for her because she would miss them half the time. Now she catches their scent much better and she knows when they're hiding under a bush before we even see them. She knows. So the next question we asked was, has your Pomsky ever caught anything? And the answer to that question was only 24% yes and 76% no. But it's hard to tell if that's a true reflection of Pomsky's hunting skills or just a consequence of a lot of Pomsky's living in big cities where they're usually walked on a leash. Beatty has already caught a squirrel and a mouse and both were caught while she was off leash. But if we could run as fast as she does, when we're at the other end of her leash, she would have caught many more. And here again, the numbers were skewed by the large number of puppies in our sample. Only 10% of Pomskys under one year old had already caught something, but that number jumped to 38% for Pomskys older than one year old. And as always with Pomskys, there's a big difference between Pomskys that are more Pomeranian-like and Pomskys that are more Husky-like. The average weight of Pomskys that had already caught something was 27 and a half pounds, while the average weight of Pomskys that had never caught anything was only 24 pounds. And for pretty much any other question we asked in the survey, hunting instinct, hunting technique, there was a noticeable difference between bigger and smaller Pomskys. And the last question in the survey was around the types of prey Pomskys like to go after. Not surprisingly, the number one prey Pomskys go after are squirrels. Followed by small birds, then rabbits, and bigger birds like ducks or geese. But here again, the answers may have been driven by the types of prey Pomskys are used to seeing. We live on the shores of Lake Michigan, and going to the beach is only a 10 minute walk from our house, so Beatty is used to seeing ducks and geese and seagulls. And she is fascinated by them. And when we see there are ducks on the beach, 
We know we are in for a wild ride. Even though she hates the water in general, she wants to go in so bad when there are ducks close to the shore. Same thing with bunnies. We live in a residential neighborhood with lots of bunnies around and Beatty loves to chase them. Her last walk of the day after dark is called the bunny walk. Beatty knows that that's the time when bunnies are out and she's on the prowl the entire time. But Pumsky's number one prayers are squirrels or squirrels if you're watching her from England. Is that how they say it? Squirrels? Squirrels. <laughs> I don't know. I say squirrels. I don't care how you say it. I just want to eat them. When we see a squirrel is trying to steal the seeds from our bird feeder, we just say the word and she rushes outside to get them. There's a squirrel. There's a squirrel. There's a squirrel, but not... There's a squirrel. Ooh. Wow. And she also has a stuffed squirrel and it's one of our favorite toys. We've actually had several of them and they've not had a happy life. They're missing limbs and they have <laughs> holes in their head. <laughs> I think we're already on squirrely number three or four. But because we don't let her catch anything, our poor baby can't hunt for herself. So we have to feed her food from the store. And a new food we've been giving her is Red Barn Dry Food. Red Barn has been making dog treats for over 20 years and they already sponsored one of our previous videos. But they recently launched a new line of dry food and BD has been loving it. Like a lot of Pomskis, BD is a super picky eater and there aren't many types of kibbles that she likes. If you look at the packaging, the first five ingredients are all products you can actually pronounce. Real poultry, real fish, or real meat. No exotic meat or byproducts. And there are six different formulas so you can easily rotate the flavor after every bag. If you want to try Red Barn's new dry food, or any other product for that matter, go on their website, redbarn.com and use the promo code FOODIE15 to get 15% off your first purchase. You could save the lives of hundreds of squirrels and bunnies. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and put your comments in the comment section below. And if you want to subscribe to our channel, we're going to put a link right here. And if you want to watch our other videos, we're going to put one right here and another one right here. Bye. bye. BD says bye.